Yeah, it was just. It is, you know. I was scared. I had this. I had one powder coated years ago. Oh. But it's a. Uh, you know, hell, they are what they are. They're they're hundred years old. They're hundred years old. I know. Because I, I I'll show you. I got I did two pumps already, and one had some dents in it, and I I hammered them out. But they're not perfect. No, know? not with the powder. Well, yeah, this this so. has probably got some ripples someplace. Oh, okay. But yeah, I mean, it's not bad. But yeah, definitely. Well, here. Uh, Where do you want it at? Here's a thousand. I got the rest of my. Stuff. Okay. Uh, I'll probably put it uh, over there because I want to take it apart. Are we on? Are we on the? Oh, board? yeah, it's my brother. <laughs> That's what he said. Yeah. Man, new pump. From your age. <laughs> One, two, three. Stop. Set it down. Now you're going to want to put your end on it. Well, here, now wait a minute. Think we could this just... is a decision. Yeah. He may want to put his camera down and help us. It's going to take all three of us to lift this thing upright. But let's just do it right here and then we can walk it. Yeah. No, that's what, what? A, the linkage right here. Wow, i never seen one of these. But, two car or two tank and then the arrows would be black and this linkage moves back and forth once this little door is open two car, oh. see? and it'll move that but something's jiggled loose oh, so if okay. you take the skins off okay. you'll be able to see the linkage all right now i never seen that before this is a gnb 176 and uh okay here's one that i just picked up yesterday it has the dome on top as well oh, nice. but it's missing it's missing the hose it's missing this and um, I went out to um, Munden Kansas Thursday and picked it up and I paid 2300 for it but I got 388 dollars in diesel also oh so, <laughs> yeah right you add all that in <laughs> yeah I know it, I know it, yeah this thing I got running really good though actually I put this brakes on it yeah, oh, you have yeah. to. It really, yeah, I want to get it where I can drive it on the street. It, you know, I had to rewire the whole car. There was no gauges or nothing. Mm -hmm. It didn't have nothing. It's like, but now you it's... You got a couple Chevys in here. Yeah, I got, a, I got a 55, 56. There's a 57 in my yeah, own I saw room. that. And then, uh, then I got my 30, two 32s. And, uh, yeah, I got some cool You got stuff. a lifetime collection. Man, I like that guy. He's cool. <laughs> Man, this pump is really nice. Uh, it's already sandblasted. I just got to go over it maybe with a disc sander, you know, smooth it out a little bit. And, uh, you know, in certain places. And then uh, I'm going to have it powder coated. Do it red like my other one. I'm going to make a Sinclair out of it. And uh, these are really rare. These, these plates, they're expensive. And uh, this is a valve here. I just learned something. Like, uh, you know, the hose goes on here. And then it has like a, a duck spout, they call it. And it doesn't have a, a valve in it. And this is the valve to turn the gas on and off. It's pretty amazing. I don't want to polish this, it's all brass. And then uh, I got to sand this a little. And yeah, man, I'm really happy, this is great. Man, all I got to do now is uh, take the whole thing apart and then uh, have it powder coated, put it back together. Put my stickers on it, put the globe on, and put it in my 50s garage. Man, I can't wait. Oh, I, think, oh, I did it. <laughs> Man, that was hard. Yeah, it took me about two and a half hours to get the thing apart. It's not completely apart yet, but almost. 
Just got to pull this bottom piece off and take the top piece apart and take that off. And I got it pretty much ready for the powder coater. I just got to do a little sanding and stuff. Yeah, this is the glass cylinder. And this is original. This is over 100 years old. And, um, you know, this one has a little crack in it. I'm going to actually take crazy glue and put it in here and try to fix it a little bit. But uh, stop it from spreading. But these are actually like over $700 if you have to buy one of these. And they make uh, plastic ones, but they're a lot cheaper. The plastic, it's about, I think, maybe 150 or something. But um, anyway, I'm going to clean all this up. And then uh, this actually fit on the top of the cylinder. And the bulb shines through this. And there's actually a rubber gasket that goes around here. And then it sits on here. And then, uh, and then this piece is like a cover. And this fits on top of this. And then, um, and you know, the bulb is inside here and everything, and it lights up. And then the globe fits on this. So I'm gonna get all this powder coated. So, yeah, it's gonna look really good. This, I gotta take this uh, glass out of here. I'm gonna work on that later. But you can see I got it almost all apart. Yeah, this, uh, this top is similar to the one on this pump right here. The pumps are very similar you know, in the, the same model pretty much for a few different little things, but, but yeah, it's pretty cool. So I think, I think I'll put it on first, then put it around that thing. Yeah, so um, I got these skins off, and uh, this door was kind of messed up, so I made a new one. And um, I took the pins out because I got to get it powder coated. But um, these hinges were like in the, you know, kind of down, so I heated up with the torch and bent them up more the way it should be. And then, uh, and then I welded them onto this plate after I cut it out. And I made this slot here for this. But it uh, came out pretty good, you know, and then I had to make it the radius, you know. Yeah, I think it's going to look good. So I got this all done. This I'm going to uh, sand a little more. I got most of it out. You know, there's a lot of scratches in here. And, yeah, pretty soon I'm going to bring it to the powder coater. Probably in another few hours. And then... Um, then I'll show you, put it back together. All right, I'm over here at the powder coater where I dropped off the skins for that visible. And uh, I gotta match the color because uh, I wanted to do with this red I had, but it's not on file, so I gotta go in there. And uh, I noticed some dents in it, so I'm gonna try to hammer them out, but see what happens. It's close, it's not an exact match because this is still a tad bit lighter than what yeah. that is. Yeah, boy, you got a good eye, man. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's the best I could, you could do, I guess. I, I mean, it pro this probably work. I mean, that'll work. Hey, um, when I was here, I noticed a, a, um, a little like dent in that thing. Is there, could, would I be able to hammer it out? I brought a hammer. If I could pull it outside, maybe or something. Uh, you wouldn't mind. You know what? These are the same. Oh, they all the same? Yeah. 3590, 3590. They just look different. Oh, well, that looks. This is more glossy. Yeah, I don't know. This got sprayed on heavy because I forgot to outgas the sample, so it's a little orange peely. Oh. Okay. But but we're looking for more gloss, I think. Yeah. Do you, hmm. you think it'll work, or you, Well, maybe should I look at those samples up there, or? Yeah. Can you help me? Because you got a good yeah. eye, man. Well, do what you think, you know. I mean, it's pretty close. You know, that, that color is pretty close. It's just uh, got the same gloss to it. Yeah. Yeah, whatever you think. You I'll know. shoot it with uh, some gloss today. All right. And then... Uh, oh, that sample? Yeah, yeah I'll just get well, a sample of some gloss and see if it comes yeah. close to the match. Yeah, if it does, just do it. Because uh, I live so far. I live in Falcon. So oh. it's kind of a pain. <laughs> 
keep coming back unless you know you need me but uh, but yeah if it looks pretty good just do it Yeah, I think it's pretty good. Let's go. Yeah, we just sand it a little. Man, thank you so much, man. Thanks for letting me do that. I fixed it. It looks perfect now. Okay. So I guess just go with that color, I guess. If well, you can uh, make it more glossy. Yeah, I don't know. I think, you know, I think that'll do it. Shoot some clear over the top. Yeah. We'll, uh, yeah, let's go with it. Right now. Uh, so you want you still need this or? I would like to keep it. Okay. I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. You so whenever you get it, just just do it. Let me know. <laughs> All right, great. I'll Thank see you. Later. See you, Clyde. Thanks. Have a good day. Well, I've been waiting like over two weeks now for my uh, gas pump to get powder coated, and it's still over there at the shop. So I figured on uh, taking this apart because I got to replace the gasket over here. It's leaking. So I'm gonna stop pulling this apart now, get it going. And uh, I know time goes fast for you guys, but it goes slow over here. Together. Now I just got to get my uh, gas pump back from the powder coater. All right, I'm gonna pull my uh, 32, you know, the red one with the blower on it, cause uh, I don't know, it's not running too great, you know. So I'm thinking I want to check the uh, gas filter. So I'm gonna put it on the lift and take the gas filter off and see if uh, it's clogged or anything's uh, messed up on it. So I'm gonna do that now. So I'm gonna go get it, put it on the lift. Right size, I think. Oh, I got it. Yep, just what I thought. There's a bolt up here. Oh, man. 
What do you think? The only thing, the gas is going to come out. I bet there's another taken off, man. Where the car was built. Let it drain a little bit. Man. Maybe that was just what was in the filter or something. Oh, man. I got it. Oh, it's probably what was in the filter. It looks dirty, but I don't, it's hard to say, but it's gotta be. It's been in there forever. Well, got to go to the auto parts store now and see if they got one of these filters. If not, I got to order it online, but we'll see what happens. But yeah, that, I don't think that was ever changed. Okay, I just picked up the new filter. You can see it's a lot cleaner. And um, I'm gonna go install it now. So I just changed all, came with some O-rings and stuff. I just changed everything. And now I'm gonna put it all together. Installed, so uh, hopefully it'll run better. And uh, man, those two bolts on top were really hard to get to, but I got it. So it's great. Check out these uh, price boxes I just got from uh, 
VIX 66. Man, if you ever need any parts for your uh, gas pumps, they got all kinds of stuff, globes, you name it. Yeah, these look really good. I just put them on the other day. Got them for all my uh, visible pumps. Looks great. Well, three weeks later, it's finally done. I'm picking up the uh, gas pump stuff. Got the powder coat. Yeah, yeah, get everything all ready, man. I just got to put it together. Cool. Yeah, it's going to be good. Right. Can I grab that jaw, too, because I don't forget it? Yes. Yeah, I want to put that back together, too. Oh, man, thank you. Did it come out pretty well? Uh, can I look at it? Yeah, oh, thank you. Oh, man, I'm really happy. And I got another plate that goes over this. Oh, that's going to help. Yeah. And then I got stickies. I'm just trying to figure out where your little door is. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it looks like four pieces. So happy. Let's put it together. Can't wait. Oh man, it's great. Well, finally got it back home and uh, gonna start putting it back together now. So I'm putting this uh, trap door on. So. Just getting everything, trying to get everything to fit right. speed transmission for my uh, 1928 Roadster so um, that'll be in the next video we're gonna work on that pretty soon so keep watching the videos